Welcome back to all. How are you my dear students? Hope you all are fine and safe at home. Do you remember our previous English class? What we learnt in that class? Tell me. Yes, we began fifth unit. Right. So what's the title of the fifth unit? Yes, very good. Helping hands is the title of the fifth unit. What is the theme of the unit? Yes, concern and kindness towards fellow beings is the theme of this unit. I also introduced you the first lesson in this unit. So, what's the title of the lesson? Yes, the champ. Who is the author of the story? Very good. Girija Rani Asthana is the author of the story, The Champ. Students, we were dealing the first part of the lesson to the swimming pool. Am I right? So all of you take your English text and take page number 135. All of you read the first part individually and find out the difficult words. Okay, hope you all read the text. Now I will give you a model reading of the first part. Okay. All of you listen carefully. You swim freestyle? asked Ranjit. Or backstroke? inquired Aman. Or butterfly? questioned Ranjit. Or breaststroke? Aman queried. No, I don't know any of these. I just swim, replied Radha nervously. It means you can't just float or crawl, not swim properly. Ranjit said in a condescending manner. No, my dear Ranjit, she can swim and swim very well. Don't forget that she lives on the banks of River Sarayu. She learned swimming even before she could walk, said Ratha's aunt who had come to the drawing room when she heard this inquisition of her knees by her sons. You better take her with you to the club, she ordered. The boys didn't say anything. It was clear that they didn't want to take their cousin from a small town to the club where they were going with their friends. But they didn't dare to disobey their mother either. They thought hard to come up with some excuse. Suddenly, Aman said, Okay, Ratha, pack your swimming costume and come. And he winked that drench it. Swimming costume? But I don't have any. Back home I swim in my salwar kurta, Ratha said innocently. But you can't swim in your salwar kurta in the club swimming pool. Aman said and looked triumphantly at Drenchit. Just then they heard cycle bells ringing outside indicating that their friends had arrived and they rushed out. Ratha watched them going. She saw her aunt running after the boys with a frown. Oh, don't bother about me, aunt. I'm not keen to go. I would rather watch TV with you, Ratha said with a hollow laughter. Students, now shall we discuss those new words and their meanings? Okay, let's go. Nervously means feeling worried. Float. Move on the surface of a liquid. Crawl. Move forward on the hands or knees close to the ground. Condescent. Show that one feels superior. Inquisition. It means questioning. Knees. A daughter of one's brother or sister. Club. An association dedicated to a particular activity. Excuse. Try to justify. Wink. To close and open eyes momentarily. Triumphantly. In a way that shows a victory or achievement. Rush means move quickly. Frown. A facial expression showing anger. Keen. Eager or interested. Students, hope you all understood the meanings of the difficult words. Am I right? Now I'll give you the explanation of the first part of the story. 
Okay, all of you listen here. Look at the text. First of all, there is a conversation. Right. Who are the characters involved in this conversation? Yes, very good. Ranjit, Aman, Radha and her aunt. Here, Ranjit and Aman are Radha's cousins. So, what was the conversation all about? Yes, very good. The conversation was about different styles of swimming like freestyle, butterfly stroke, breast stroke, back stroke, etc. Students, are you familiar with these kinds of swimming styles? Students, I'll give you a small definition for these types of swimming styles. Freestyle is the fastest of the four front primary strokes. Butterfly stroke is performed with the face down in water. Then breast stroke is performed with the face down in water without rotating the torso. Back stroke is also known as back crawl. It is performed lying on the back. Here, Ranjit and Aman asked Radha about different styles of swimming. Then Radha replied that she don't know any of these swimming styles. So Ranjit said that Radha could only float or crawl in water but couldn't swim properly. Then came Radha's aunt and she reacted to Ranjit's remark. How did she react? Yes, aunt supported Radha by introducing her as a good swimmer. She encouraged her sons to take Radha with them to the swimming pool. But the boys didn't say anything because they were not interested to take her with them to the club. But the boys didn't like to disobey their mother. So the boys thought deeply and created an excuse. So they told Radha to pack her swimming costume and come with them. But Radha didn't have a swimming costume. So the children did not take Radha to the swimming pool. They said that swimming suit is an essential thing for the club swimming pool. Radha said innocently that in her home she used salwar kurta for swimming. The cousin said that it's impossible to swim in your salwar kurta. Then their friends arrived in their cycles and rang bell. So they rushed out. Then Ratha saw her cousins rushed out and her aunt was also running after them with anger. By hiding her disappointment, Ratha said her aunt that she is not interested to go and added that she would rather watch TV with her aunt. Here, hollow laughter means a laugh that sounds artificially happy. Here, Ratha is trying to hide her disappointment through that laughter. Students, hope you all understood the first part of the story to the swimming pool. Am I right? So, we will meet in the next class with the rest of the story. All of you read the text very well, okay? I will ask you some questions. So, all of you read it thoroughly. Take care, dear children. Thank you.